Hi, today we are making homemade french fries. I learned how to do this when I was attending Brookdale Community College in Loon Park. I decided with my major in theater to take a culinary arts class. To, and they, the first thing they taught us to do is to make homemade french fries. We always leave the skin on. The skin has vitamins in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this potato up and we're going to slice it this way. The skin has a lot of vitamins in it. See? We're getting french fries. And we're going to put it into hot oil. There's nothing better than homemade french fries. Got to be very careful with the knife because you can cut yourself. I can, I'm also going to show you how to make potato chips. Not today, but some other time. It's very similar to doing this, but you have to make them very thin. Okay. It's one of my favorite classes that I took at Brookton. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these little guys in the oil. Stand back, because it will spit. Okay, which what we also learned at Brookdale. And my boss's name was John. I still remember his name, same name as my husband. He was a great, great teacher. And I also worked with him for a while. I worked in the Brookdale cafeteria, worked there for about two years. I loved it. But I also learned how to make something called hot dog bean casserole. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these hot dogs up in little pieces. Now, there's nothing wrong with hot dogs, despite what everybody's hearing these rumors on Facebook, none of it's true. I've eaten hot dogs my whole life, and I'm 61 years old, and I'm still kicking and talking. And even doing a cooking show, so how bad can hot dogs be for you? Okay, I'm going to cut these little guys up. They're very hot, so be careful not to burn your fingers when you do this. And it was really good. We, we mixed it with beans, onions, and mustard. Really good. Some people use molasses, but I'd rather not. You never have to worry about eating hot dogs. You can trust me on this one. I don't know where all these ugly rumors are coming from, but they keep coming from dumplings. Now I'm going to put the beans in here. It's not going to be much. It's just going to be for me and my husband, but most large families will take two or three cans, but we're just going to use one can today. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hot dogs in here. Mix it up a little bit with the beans. But I don't want to use that many beans that we lose the hot dog flavor. I want to have the combination of the beans and the hot dogs. And the onions. Alright, I know you don't like me using a knife when I stir. Sorry guys. On top of this, I'm going to put a little bit of mustard. The best kind of mustard to use for this is honey. I want to have that sweet, tangy taste. Mix this up a little bit. Put a little bit on top. I'm going to put it in the oven for probably about five to six minutes. You have a really good hot dog casserole. There you go. Okay, for the french fries, what we were taught to do when I took this class at Brookdale, always put salt on it. Without salt, it's very, very plain. And also you serve french fries, of course, with ketchup. Yeah, I love taking this class at Brookdale. I really enjoyed going there back in the 70s. Keep in mind, Brookdale is not the way it used to be. It doesn't look the same. It's all built up. But when we went, it was like all country. When I used to go there back in the 70s, I still miss those good old days. And this is the hot dog bean casserole. It's so good. This is one of the dishes that they taught us how to make. Put a little ketchup here on the side to dip the fries into it. There we go. And here we have it. Homemade french fries. 
Hot dog casserole with beans and onions from Deborah Way's Home Country Kitchen. Have a great day.